welcome back to our Stupid Direct Idiots. I'm Corbin. As with me, as always, is Rick Siegel! Indian Army! <sighs> Had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh. Uh, and please follow us on Instagram, on Twitter! Hey, we almost harmonized on that one. Thank you. Kind of fun. Uh, <laughs> so. We're I had animals. asked you, uh, I think this morning. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're animals, man. We're going. I was like, at it. We found, we thought you or I was out of uh, theaters. Yeah, and we were disappointed because there's like, if it's out of theater, there's always that lag between theater and when it goes online. So we're yeah. like, dang it, but you yeah. found it. But I found it online. It was like uh, just a 10, 15 miles away from us. Yep. Uh, and so we asked you, and ninety-seven percent of you, <laughs> yeah, out of like ten thousand of you, said, "Go, go, what are go you going now. for?" Uh, so we went and we watched you or Yuri. Yeah, Yuri. It's called Yuri. We keep calling it Yuri. <laughs> In Sorry. reaction, we call it Yuri. <laughs> They're like stupid Americans. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we saw Yuri. Uh, in theaters, the yes, way, the should, way it been, should be. Oh, I'm uh, so yeah, glad we didn't have to see this on the smaller screen. <laughs> no, uh, no, so that was, was uh, yeah, really glad we saw it on the big screen. In, uh, in one word, um, epic, epic, awesome, <laughs> awesome. Uh, in, uh, this is gonna be a spoiler review. Yeah, spoiler. So sorry if you haven't seen it. That's I like spoiler reviews better. Yeah, I think more most in depth. Of you, one, I think most most of you know the story and have seen this film. Right, and I mean, if we saw a movie before it's a release, which I hope we get to do at some point, where we get to go to the premiere, we will never give you spoilers ever. Yeah, yeah. but you all have seen most everything before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, so um, this film. Yeah. Wow. Uh, wow. Yeah. At, at a bunch of levels, wow. Wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a bunch it was of levels. Everything, uh, we went into it obviously outside of what you said in your comments of what we saw in the trailers. Right. Um, which we love the trailer. Yes, not knowing anything about this event. Right. Uh, which sucks. Yeah, which sucks. Well, like, well, why don't we know about this event? <laughs> yeah. Um, but this is America. Right. Course. And we uh, do now. Yeah. But I was, I was in it. <laughs> The entire time, time I was watching it. Yeah. Um, it, it started off and it was just, it, it brought you in right Especially away. Especially with, the, let's just right off the oh bat. Yeah, the score. The score, man. That was That freaking epic. score at every like, level. I guarantee three or four of those go in the workout playlist. Oh, they already are. <laughs> when we left the theater, I immediately went into my Apple Music and I found the music and added them to my, yeah. I have an India playlist and I have a war playlist. Mm. And that's my workout playlist. Oh, and yeah. that one, the Special Forces song, which is also in the, uh, what we're playing is the longer version of that. But if I butcher his name, forgive me. Uh, Shashwat Sakdev is the composer. Mm. Freaking epic, phenomenal score. Yeah, that, every level. That's the, that's the first thing I noticed about the me film. too. Because it gives you an epic song as they're doing the yeah whatever, whatever strike they're doing at but, that time. And then he goes straight to the most simple, naked, raw, like with his mom, mm -hmm. just a piano. Yeah. And just a fantastic yeah. the whole score. S story. I'd, I'd love to know. I'd, I've heard from most of you, most of it is true. Right. Um, I'd, I'd like to know how much specifically, like, is um, the, the internship uh, guy. Mm -hmm. uh, I know it didn't happen exactly like that. They're like, well, we can't get that close to the ground. And then in the next room, they see a guy <laughs> inventing, like, an eagle <laughs> drone. <Right. laughs> hey, just so happens. <laughs> <laughs> so I know it didn't happen like that. So I'm assuming, but something like that happened, right? With the intern, right? Uh, and um, and all of the personal stories. Obviously, I assume the main soldiers. That whole story about his uh, brother-in-law and the the mom with Alzheimer's and yeah. all of that was true. Yeah. Um, what I'd like to know. I'd like to know. Well, hello there. I'd like to know if the <laughs> when they leave after the surgical strike. And Pakistan has figured out something's going on and they send the helicopters in and they're shooting at them and they're asking for air support. Mm -hmm. I want to know if that's accurate because if it is, the Pakistani army shoots as bad as yeah. stormtroopers. Yeah, they're, they're real bad at shooting. Really bad. Um, yeah. So, yeah. because they just had them dead to rights there in the open yeah. ground. So, and, uh, who knows if it was exactly like that or yeah. not. Um, but, obviously, they didn't lose anybody. Right, um, which, okay. Which is, which is great. There's so much I want to say about this movie. So, let's talk about um, well, since we talked about the score, the next thing I want to talk about is the sound. Oh, yeah. This was Oscar-level sound mixing, sound editing, and every little detail that the, the director, the cinematographer, and the editor, and whoever did the sound, 
They matched everything so yeah, they did. freaking incredibly perfect. Yeah, we don't have another piano situation on our hands. Not this time. <laughs> Not this was this was a director with attention to detail. Like so so there's this one point in toward the early uh, battle sequences in the beginning where somebody gets shot. Mm -hmm. They're inside and the bullet goes through them and hits this little window way outside behind them, which is what would happen. And I thought, that kind of attention to detail, yeah. man. And I'd love to know, because they had a thing at the beginning when we watched it that said, we've done everything we can to be meticulous about every aspect of military dress, uh, weaponry, yeah. and it looked like it. Yeah. Now, we're really familiar with military movies here that depict American military, yeah. so we can nail that. We'd love to, I'm assuming because it's done so well that this was just yeah. freaking yeah. honoring and spot I do love, I, I, I do love the uniforms of the, the Indian Army. Absolutely. It's epic. It's, the, a, it's yeah. awesome. I think it's a sash uh, yeah. across the, across the, it's epic. I love their look. Yeah. I think it's a really cool look. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, uh, I totally agree. Um, the with, sound. Yeah, with, with the sound. It was just so epic. Um, one of the <laughs> sad things about the film is that we knew it going in. We saw it in the trailer. <laughs> And it was the best part of the trailer, uh, was when he said, uh, uh, say, say hello to the 72 virgins. We're yeah. sending him a lot more guests tonight. Yeah. <laughs> it is too we, bad they put that in the trailer. We knew they took it out because all you said, they cut it from the film because of uh, censorship yeah. it offended people. Yeah. But that was sad. We it, were like, oh, it's coming. It's coming. Oh, man. And it's so perfect. <laughs> it's so perfect. Uh, so the, that, <laughs> that was sad. That they took that out. <laughs> Did that make you cry? What? That they took that out? Yes, it did. I thought so. Yeah, I saw you going... <sighs> I did get emotional in this film. I did not cry. <laughs> no, but hey, what did we tell you? <laughs> Military and dogs. It was when uh, he died. Yeah. That guy died. Yes. And you saw his wife and, and the daughter. daughter. Yes. And then when she yelled, which I heard was true. Wow. I just got the chills. Yeah. The daughter yelled that? Somebody in the, uh, in the comments, uh, uh, when I asked about the poll, they said... They were saying something like everything is true, it, even the part where the girl yells. Wow. Um, and so wow. if that's true, that is epic. Yeah. And then the guy tried to keep yelling it, and then he couldn't. And then yeah. So I started, you know, those emotional feels down here. Of course. Before I do. you suppress them down and <laughs> <you know things. laughs> Yeah, baby. I got it right here. You know what? Before that... I was like, get down there. That that moment. That little girl and the mom, because that is such, that moment right there as actors was such an intimate moment, the way the director shot oh, yeah. that. It was, right on. it was on, it was slow-mo, it wouldn't let them go. That little girl did amazing. Amazing. For a little, because kids are notoriously awful Yeah, actors. notorious, notoriously, they just don't have the depth yeah. emotionally. Yeah, you can't, can't, I mean, you can't blame them. Exactly. <laughs> and she nailed it. She did. Nailed it and like, got you. You almost got some. Uh, no, I didn't almost get tears, but I was like, but it was, I felt. Uh, I was like, mm. it's how I normally feel during military movies. See, he does have a soul. I, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm thankful for the military. My dad's been in the military for 30 years. Yep. His father was in the military. His father was in the. I'm the one that decided to be an actor. <laughs> <laughs> and ruin the family. Ruin the tradition. family line tradition. <laughs> Thanks, Corbin. I know. But you saw I would do, and indeed, obviously, doesn't even have to be the uh, American military. It's no. just that 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 willingness to give up oneself yes. in in greater good of your country. Yes, is just such a special, amazing thing to me. I agree with that you. That you can be that selfless. Yeah, um, and so that military always gets me. Yeah, we we mentioned this in something that we haven't uh, actually dropped yet, but we will. It has to do with military, mm -hmm. and that's that's the fact of um, we we I have a personal. Reg it's not a regret because I wouldn't change anything that's happened in my life, but that's one thing I wish I had done. I wish I had served because our level of respect for the military, and I have a, a particular f affection for special operators. Uh, my, for me here, it's the Navy SEALs. Uh, I, so much so that a lot of Navy SEAL code and Navy SEAL values are part of my own personal disciplines in my workouts and in my life and mm -hmm. my, my, the way that I think. And these special operators, this reminded me a lot of some of the films we've had here in America that focus on special ops, like Lone Survivor, yeah. uh, the, the, the one, uh, Zero Dark Thirty, which is about the Bin Laden operation. Yeah. This had that level of attention to the way special ops focus. And mm -hmm. these guys 
Yeah, we're just as it badass was, was, as any Navy SEAL you would yeah. see in terms of the representation. It was epic representation. every single time. Uh, I, I forgive me to not know the main guy's name. Right. Yeah. Sorry, and guys. It, sorry. Um, but whenever he gave a speech, whenever he was on screen, he has very he has charisma. Very much whoever so. that actor is. Yep. He has so much charisma. Yep. And then whenever he gave a speech, whenever it, it was just yeah, when he's talking to the guys before they uh, go. Yeah. So yeah, like, yeah, spirit tie. Like, oh, I, I know spirit. Yeah, my spirit tie. Let's go kill somebody. Let's kill somebody. <laughs> <laughs> and and I got I cannot imagine. I love that line. Is that a line the Indian Army uses? It's gotta uh, be. Sp- or how are your spirits? Spirits high. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah oh, it's gotta be. I love that chant. Gotta that's a be. Great chant. And I cannot imagine. I can. Two things, man. Right now, for you guys in India, first of all, this this movie is coming out only a couple years removed from the actual event. Yeah. So the feelings are still right there. Mm-hmm. Now you add to it what just happened in yeah. Kashmir. Just so when you guys see this movie, I cannot imagine the combination of national pride yeah. and outright raw rage of the injustice of being attacked by terrorists. And obviously in America, we know that. Uh, we don't claim to know it as well as other parts of the world because let's face it, we've had one really serious attack here. Yeah. Thankfully, yeah, and the rest are domestic the, compared to other places in the world that see it all the freaking time. Yeah. But we do know what that tastes like because nine eleven was, yeah, one of the worst ever in the history of planet Earth. So yeah. uh, I can't imagine the pride you must feel and what it must have been for those actors. I sensed the lead actor when he had that moment. It was so emblematic of that final fight he has. With oh the, yeah, epic. That was that was India and Pakistan right there, mm-hmm. personalized. Yeah. And when he said, "You came and you killed my brothers, mm-hmm. and now I came into your house and killed your brothers," mm-hmm. and when he gave that, I thought of the line in the Dead Poets Society, the barbaric yap, mm-hmm. and he gave that yell. Yeah. I, I'd love to hear that actor's. Uh, explanation of what that was like for him mm-hmm. to do that, you know, because yeah. I could see the emotion, and it's mm-hmm. got to be amazing for you guys to see this movie. Yeah, that, yeah, <laughs> it was. It filled with such such pride. Pride. And yeah. I was even proud. I, was I like, know. Yeah. I was. I was proud. It's like, dang, I get to be connected to these guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is awesome. The only issue I didn't have a lot of issues, and none of them are yeah. big. I Me gave, too. I give this film an A plus. Honestly, yeah. I would watch it again. I loved it. Yeah, so I, much. And I was thinking, actually, on Memorial Day, I might include this because I've got a long list mm-hmm. of films. What on Memorial Day for us is when we honor all of our our warriors who who've died in battle. So we've got a list: Saving Private Ryan, mm-hmm. Lone Survivor, American Sniper. This is one that I would want to show my yeah. kids and everybody oh, yeah. as. This a, is- it's epic. epic. Sadly, you won't be able to show them in theater, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the only couple issues I had with it were when they were flying the hawk and he was outside the window and he was looking at him and walking towards the window. Nobody who right, was nobody watching it was like, hey, you should probably back up. Or, right. He they just, might he, see that. He walked up really slowly. <laughs> <laughs> And so they could clearly see him walking, and they're like, no, let's just stay here. Let's just stay right here. In fact, would you go right in the window? Yeah. So I, that, that, I, it was a I little, agree. like, convenient. It was, of, it was of, a little of, convenient. Of, of, of a little dramatization. Agreed. But Agreed. it doesn't ruin the film. At all. Um, <laughs> That's, we're nitpicking, yeah, guys. Yeah, and then the other one, I, wi- I don't, I don't know if this is, you can't do this, if it was a budget thing. I wanted more, almost, realistic Gore that we get a lot here in America. Yeah. The only time we did was when he started sawing. Oh, off the dude's yeah. Leg, which he, was epic. That was phenomenal. He was, oh, where is Idris? <laughs> I'm not telling you. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> and then he puts the camera, grenade. Camera. And then he puts his grenade in his, in his pants. pants. Oh, epic. That was phenomenal. I love it. He puts it in his pants and then he's just walking away. Yeah, yeah. So I, I wish it was more of those moments because most of the time they, they, they would shoot and you wouldn't see the blood or they'd kind of cut right, away. Right. And it was kind of, yeah. yeah I think a lot of that is budgetary. It's either budgetary or it may be censorship stuff where they can't yeah. show that stuff. Also, I do have a question. He has a question. Question. Is it the law that you have to say alcohol consumption is dangerous every single time there is alcohol <laughs> on screen? On screen. Gotta be because I, I've noticed it. <laughs> I've noticed it in other films. Like they didn't, they didn't, like it was only with the guy drinking and then the other guy wasn't there. But then when it went back to him and he was drinking, <laughs> and but he, when he didn't have it in the screen, it wasn't on there. Only when alcohol was in the screen, and it, it's there. Yeah. And every time it's there. Yeah. Yeah. That was crazy. So I know. I'm guessing that's a censorship thing. I just never it. seen it before. The film was epic. The, yeah. Those are my only nitpicks with it. Real and, and there did little tiny little things that, uh. <laughs> no, and I mean, the directing was so good. I remembered at one point when they're prepping. 
the director, and this is really us getting, yeah. you'll know what I'm about to say, he changed the film editing speed, the clip of the frames yeah, per second, and he made where they're getting ready to have that faster frames per minute like they do in the fight sequences that added a level of, of, of anxiousness and excitement before they go, mm -hmm. which again, the director did such a fantastic yeah. job a couple of detail. Of the, the cinematography with the director, there was some epic aerial oh, shots. Oh, great aerial, some beautiful shots. And then of, some great action shots from afar, yes. like when he was running and he was getting shot at, and then and, the bullets going. And now, the lighting, guys. Couple of anybody who sees this that was involved in the lighting, because so much of what they did was nighttime, which is so hard. Exterior nighttime shots yeah. were lit so well. Yeah. I mean, technically, this thing, if this, was, if this had been released in the United States of America, this would have definitely gotten some te technical Oscars. Well, if it was an American film. If it was, American, yeah, if it was film, an American film, unfortunately, it we don't care about anything else. Right, which again uh, makes me want to have a, yeah. an international Oscars because... Yeah. We're, I'm telling you guys, we're wanting everybody to see stuff here that you're showing us because I just said this to somebody the other day who said, wow, Indian movies, you mean Bollywood? Because everybody here thinks it's just all those happy, pretty musical films. And I'm like, dude, the quality of stuff that's coming out of India, mm -hmm. you guys need to be exposed to it. And it, it's, it's not <laughs> like just recent quality. It's no quality for, for long years. years. That... And again, being actors who love film, all our lives in Hollywood. I'm seeing some great acting by people I've never heard yep. about in my life. And and everything at every level. It's mm -hmm. like, thank you guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, so much. Good job. Yeah. So the in like just last thing, it was some of the the best military uh, precision filming. Yeah. Like the, the special tactics in yeah. film I've seen, honestly. Yeah. So that, that was, some people were saying it's not the level of Zero Dark Thirty. I'd say it's almost it's, there. I, I, it reminded me of Zero Dark Thirty as yeah. far as that level. They just had, I think, a bigger budget. And I think that's the only difference. They did. And it's just, it's a different operation. So I, yeah. I really didn't want to give it. But I think I had more pride in this. This. I, I'd watch more. I'd watch this again before I'd probably watch Zero Dark Thirty. And as big as Zero Dark Thirty was an operation, I mean, getting Bin Laden, which again involves Pakistan, getting Bin Laden was obviously the biggest manhunt in the history of our yeah. generation. Yeah. But the, the, this operation was far more complex mm -hmm. because it had multiple teams going to multiple locations needing to not be detected. And it didn't have as much intelligence need before it. They knew where their targets were, mm -hmm. different than the Obama thing. We were going after a target. We weren't even 100% was there. They knew where their target was. But the complexity of doing that surgical strike, yeah. getting in and getting out, and, and they were a bit more successful. They didn't lose a Black Hawk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. And they got out with not one freaking guy dead. Yeah, that's amazing. Extraordinary. It's exquisite. So, yeah. yeah, thank you for that recommendation. It was, it was epic. Loved it. I'm so happy we got to see it in theaters. Oh, yeah. And uh, I guess last thing to say is, uh, how's your blood? No, you're supposed to say it. How's God. your spirit? How's your spirit? Uh, hold on. How's your spirit? Spirit time! Oh my God, you missed all this. Spirit time! <laughs> what a 